Hi guys, I hope you all are doing okay because I am. My name is Sakatlani Prudan Swagalisolo and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be continuing of last week's topic of the process that one takes in order for them to write their board exams, their actual exams with ANSA. We tackled step number one last week which was creating new student membership. Now a few additions to the student membership um, step. Note that if you do your application and you haven't completed your application after exams are done or after exams have been written, your application, the incomplete application would be cancelled and you are going to have to reapply again for a new membership. Also, each and every year, each and every December, you will get um, an email that will be notifying you to renew your your membership. So annually, you will have to renew your membership. It is advisable that you start your application at the latest six weeks before examinations so as to allow the process of them processing your admission and you sending your supporting documents and all that so that by the time exams start you're already like in you have your membership and you are accepted step number two will be you now registering your exam registrations are done online and if your registration is late there will be a penalty fee for that i'm just not sure of how much the penalty fee is but there will be a penalty fee you are going to have to register for your exams via your student membership profile before you do that you just want to check your exam venue and your exam dates so as you know what you're getting yourself into step number three you will receive an email with details of the subject or the exam that you've chosen to write separate emails will be sent for each exam registered if you registered for three exams you will receive three separate exams of the subject the particular exams details details such as exam venue and date step number four will be for you to download your will be for you to download your proof of registration as well as the permits that will be available on your student membership profile remember that this these particular documents will be required when you go for your exam. So please do make sure that you download them. Now, if you want to deregister, you can deregister, but be aware that you should register before the registration to close. Because once they are closed and you haven't deregistered, you will still be liable for the exam fees applicable to the particular exam that you would have applied, I mean, registered for. So be sure to deregister before the registrations close. At the exam venue, you are going to present your permits. Remember I said you download your permits. You are going to have to present this at the exam venue. This will go together with a photo identification. Now a photo identification can either be an ID, your driver's license or a passport. Lastly, if you will be writing with a calculator, there are certain calculators that are allowed and others that are not allowed. So be sure to read the details that are on your particular exam email that will be sent to you to make sure to be sure which calculator to bring and which calculator not to bring. So that was all on the process of you getting to write your exams through ASA. I hope these were clear and I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, be sure to drop them in the comment section and I'll be sure to attend to them as soon as I can. So that was all from me. Until next time, stay safe and stay blessed.